The Chainsmokers have just finished their latest album called Sick Boy which has 10 songs and today I'm going to review all those songs and I'm going to do a countdown from the worst song of this album to the best song of this album. Welcome to ATZ TV and today we are going to do the countdown from the worst to the best song in the Sick Boy album of the Chainsmokers. Chainsmokers album Sick Boy was quite unexpected to tell you because they literally changed the theme of the entire album in almost all the songs like the first four songs were quite dark and then uh, Save Yourself and Simon's are like totally EDM type and uh, the other Hope the latest one uh, Side Effects These Feelings and Beach House are quite like the old chain smokers we knew so overall this is a quite a mixed up album and according to me it's still good because we could literally get a lot of flavors from the chain smokers music and uh, to tell you i cannot say that any song of this entire album is the worst like i prefer instead of saying from the worst song to the best song of the album to the least good song of this al of this album to the best song of this album i prefer and uh, if you feel like the countdown is not as how you feel how the songs are means you feel like okay this song should have been higher now this should have been lower now this doesn't even deserve to be in the top five then please be free and write it on the comment section below for this let's start at number 10 comes side effects featuring emily Wevan. yeah i know you must be saying this is a very good song and it does not even deserve to be last but to tell you for me the first four singles of Chainsmokers were like quite dark and then suddenly they turned into the love mode, the old Chainsmokers mode. So I found it quite, uh, you know, difficult to digest this song. And also I know this is, it has a little darkness in it also, but I expected it more. Plus, Emily Wevan is a good singer, good collaborator with the Chainsmokers, but uh, I feel this song is missing most of the magic that you would expect in this entire Sick Boy album. Not to say that it's the worst song, it is actually good, but for me it was the least favorite out of all the songs in this entire album. Coming in at number 9 is Hope featuring Winona Oak. This song is good, quite good to tell you, the last song in any case of the album to give a flavor, including when the Chainsmokers were about to release this song, they put, uh, they put it on Twitter that if you are liked all we know and inside out, then you are going to love this song. And to tell you, it's actually good. It's quite good. Winona Oak is giving it a quite good effect. And Drew Taggart's vocals also have improved. And the song sounds well. The reason why it is number 9 for me is it does not have the catch for me to like, like it. I don't know why or how to express it. But there's something missing that does not make it come higher. It's like... When you hear it first, like, oh yeah, it's a good song. Then you have to hear it more, still more. And uh, as it is released, the last song to be released. So I think it will take time for me to start, you know, liking it. So yeah, let's hope it becomes good. At number eight comes Siren featuring Azar. This song is the second EDM hit in the Chainsmokers album. So when uh, according to me, I feel that it's quite good. It's quite good. The beats are quite good. Like you feel like this should song should be played when there's an action scene in a movie. And uh, the only thing that this song lacks is the lyrics. Like it, the starting of the lyrics is quite good, but uh, in the end, it's just the beats. So I know the ETM songs should be like that but when you see the entire album you see mostly all the songs covered with lyrics good ones including save yourself even if it's a edm hit type it still has quite good lyrics that's the only reason why Simon has to come number eight in this countdown number seven comes save yourself to tell you i never expected the chain smokers to put this song in their album because like it was quite dark and then they went a little bit side effects type and you know I have seen many DJs, I have seen them putting their songs but you know I never thought like you could put an, in the Chainsmokers would put an EDM beat song like this, the old trap type. But to tell you the truth, it was quite good. It literally brought the earlier four songs back to life which uh, the Chainsmokers are really just starting for when they then changed to side effects which was little uh, 
love type but save yourself on the good thing about save yourself means why it is better than siren is that save yourself has better lyrics and uh, it also the beats are also quite good compared to siren for me according to me but uh, at the music video which they released of save yourself was quite a flop to tell you the truth uh, i the entire song is first really not there in the music video and i don't know why the chain smokers released that video but they have so they did it but any case this song is quite good and it deserves a well number 7 in my list at number 6 comes beach house and to tell you the truth uh, compared to all these songs in the entire album this was the only song which i fell in love the first time i heard it and it's very rare that i fall in love with a song uh, with any song that i have heard for the first time the vocals and the lyrics by drew taggart were too good and the beats also were like outstanding the best combination you could expect and it was quite reminding me of the 2016 chain smokers and to tell you actually i just fell in love with this song it was quite good and uh, i today you should i never expected them to release such a single and uh, but only thing that i don't feel about this song is right is that they have uh, named it beach house when uh, there's nothing actually related to beach house only in the starting of the part of the lyrics in which drew taggart says he was he- listening to beach house i feel like the sing- uh, song should be named darling of mine something like that because uh, mostly that is the main part of the lyrics the chorus and uh, i think they should have actually named it darling of mine compared to beach house but overall why this song is very good and it is hard for me to keep it at number 6 also but it was what the this position number 5 comes this feeling featuring kelsa balini to tell you in the entire album of chain smokers i believe that this is the best collaboration song they have ever released and uh, it's a quite a good banger it has quite beautiful lyrics kelsa's and uh, taggart's vocals mixed together and make it a beautiful love song and reminds me quite much of the earlier album memories do not open type uh, music the chain smokers used to do and this song is so good that they literally played it during the half time of a football match and also in during the victoria secrets fashion uh, show so it's quite good if and i think the chain smokers loved it so much that they put it on uh, twitter after they released the song they were cutting a cake with the cover of the song on it so i think the chain smokers had a lot of expectations from this song and uh, to tell you the truth it delivered it delivered well it was a very good song i have to say i never expected them actually to release a song like this again i thought it was like all over but uh, after save yourself this feeling just had the best feeling in the entire album and i have to say i just loved it for come somebody featuring drew love now to tell you the entire album does not have such a good song with such good lyrics come as of somebody like it's the song with the best lyrics and uh, to tell you it's quite touching to the heart because like you literally feel this uh, the lyrics which are there you actually feel it in life like in my head i knew better and people change with the weather like it's so true there are many people ditch you many a times and i have gone through situations like this and you know like this song gives you encouragement like oh yeah there are more people who have been through this and if they can do well in such situations even i can do like the the only thing that this song has less it was the beats to tell you it has in i never would like to have such beats for such a beautiful song i think so if the chain smoker had made a little more like the marshmallows happier type then i think so it would have literally topped the charts it would have been a much better song the only thing the beats were like quite low compared to what i would expect them to do it but overall the song is too good and the lyrics are just awesome at number 3 comes everybody hates me and to tell you this song is very good uh, the beats the lyrics everything just matches up and makes it awesome the darkness in uh, taggart's vocals the truth in the lyrics of the song that we actually do face like 
We walk into the club like everybody hates me. I'm talking to myself, shit, now they think I'm crazy. It's actually true. Like people expect you to do so many things that you actually, you yourself do not expect from yourself. Like you, when you try to like go, don't do it, then people act as if you have done the greatest crime in your life. So I believe that this song, including the music video, was also awesome. And I believe that this song was has a deserving spot in the top three. And uh, I tell you the truth, this song was very good. From the time it was released till now, I still hear it every day. And like it's very supportive, you know, when like you are in depression or any sad moment, you just need to listen to this song and like you can just then come. Okay, I can do this. At number two come sick boy okay this is the song which started everything of the entire album when the chain smokers released the song in jan everyone started commenting on social media that the chain smokers are copying 21 pilots because no one expected the chain smokers to go so dark like everyone knew that the 21 pilots used to do this but no one expected the chain smokers from their last album from a love to go to dark so this dark lyrics and to tell you the truth this album is very good it actually is currently for now at this time it's the highest peak song of the chain smokers in any chart of the new album so i believe that this lyrics of the song were good the beat the music video was the best i have to say it was the best music video of all the songs and i have to say i just loved it and it has quite hard, dark mean, hidden meanings in his lyrics. And to tell you, no one expected. Like the world reacted to it very strangely. And I don't think that you know that if the artist changes the topics of their song, doesn't mean they are copying someone. They're just trying out something new, which I believe each and every one wants to has to try. Because you know when the chain smokers release this song, they are saying like, why in the hell have you all changed? Can't you just remain the same? And before that, when they were same, people were like, why in the hell the same beats? Can you just go different? So I can't understand what the people want. Like critics will always criticize you. And uh, that is what they have done to the chain smokers in this annual album. There's like quite a lot of criticism. But I feel like the chain smokers, even after so much criticism, have just fought back and just smashed it on their faces with this new album. And I believe that Sick Boy is a well-deserving number two. And finally, at number one, the best song in this entire album for me, You Owe Me. The second single in the entire album. And uh, to tell you the truth, from the time it was released till now, I still listen to it. And you know, the thing is that it has good lyrics, it has good beats. But the thing that makes it so special for me to come at number one is that the lyrics are literally, you know, like it applies to my life. They... The lyrics that everyone just wants you to do what they want to. They just want to see you dead sometimes. The jealousy they feel. The critics, they criticize you whenever you want. Like it's the part of life we go through. You go in li- you are going in life, you're doing well. You'll have critics criticizing you. Do you want people who want you dead? And the main chorus, if I'm dead, you owe me. That sounds, that mean sound only of it, the... Uh, when you say it, it's like this quite a haunting feeling. Like if I'm dead, it's all because of you. So I think that the Chainsmokers number, the number one album song for me, You Owe Me, was like literally the best out of it. Like the lyrics were too good and then the music video was exceptional. I never expected them to turn to vampires. But overall, this song was the one that literally changed everything. Like in my darkest moments in this entire year, I have played this song and it was like literally the best one I ever expected from the Chainsmokers. Sadly, it never made it so well in the charts, but you know, who cares about the charts? It's what you think about the song and that is it. So... With this, I finished the countdown. Just to give a recap, at number 10, we had Side Effects. At number 9, we had uh, Hope. At number 8, we had uh, Siren. At number 7, we had Save Yourself. At number 6, Beach House. At number 5, This Feeling. At number 4, we had uh, Somebody. At number 3, Everybody Hates Me. At number 2, Sick Boy. And at number 1, You Owe Me. 
thanks guys for watching this video with me and please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and if you feel that uh, the countdown was not appropriate or you have a better countdown for this please be free and write in the description